Well, what a ball game, huh? You guys, you guys sleeping in here or what? Uh, that, you know, I'm so happy for those guys in that locker room. Um, you know, Veterans Day, um, you know, great win. Again, I want to thank all the veterans out there across the country, um, everybody that, you know, um, protects this country and, and, and fights for us. Um, you know, yeah, our kids fought hard just like they had fought and, um, you know, appreciate all the efforts today. Um, you know, what do you say? I mean, I talked to our defense today. Uh, we, we had a 30-minute meeting uh, over in the Durats, and, and uh, after Bates got done, I just said, listen, everybody's talking about offense. You know, you win championships with defense, and that was a championship effort uh, today by our defense. Three fourth down stops. Um, you know, we turned the ball over late, and we, you know, forced them to a field goal. You know, there was talk about letting them score, and, you know, we'd go down and score. I was like, I, I can't do that. We, you know, we're going to stop them here. Um, but, uh, you know, when they got it down, I think the one. Um, but, you know, just some incredible um, efforts by a bunch of guys. MJ Devonshire with the finishing touch, and I think Cabo put some pressure on the quarterback at that time. But uh, our kids were. Our kids were fresh. That was part of the plan. Um, you know, we didn't practice much this week. We had to keep them fresh, and I got that from Coach Tomlin. So I uh, appreciate Coach Tomlin and just talking with him how they deal with it in the NFL. Uh, it's nice to have neighbors like that. And um, you know, we we took it easy. We had a um, a Sunday jog through. We had a Monday walk through, which is a Tuesday and a Wednesday practice, and then we played fast on on Tuesday, which was our perfect Thursday practice. And that, you know, I thought our kids' legs were fresh. Uh, that was, you know, to me, that was critical to winning the game today. Uh, our kids played. I, th I don't think they want to practice anymore. I think they just want to, you know, walk through, jog through, and get ready to go. So, questions? What was the big change in the second half for you with your offense that trouble getting guys open? And stuff? You know what? I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe, you know, I don't know what it was. Uh, we'll watch the tape and, and find out. Um, you know, I didn't see any adjustments out of them defensively. They played a lot of different coverages, um, trying to confuse people. and. Um, you know, we'll look at the tape and find out, but they did a nice job in the second half, and, and uh, you know that happens sometimes. Um, you know, you, great teams find ways to, to win in a different way, and that's what our kids did today. Yeah, they couldn't run the ball either. So I, I don't know what we rushed for, but um, you know, hey, that sometimes happens. It, you know, you can't get frustrated. You know, you give them credit. They got a bunch of good football players over there too. They got a bunch of four and five star guys, top ten recruiting classes, and uh, just didn't look like that today uh, with the way Pitt played. Uh, specifically on fourth down, uh, this defense over four holding North Carolina. What did you see with your uh, unit in that regard? I, mean, I think we're the number one. You know, fourth down defense in the country. I think people should probably just punt or you know do something else. I think uh, um, our, our kids. I mean, you know, again, give the defense credit, give you know our players credit, our coaches credit. I mean, they've done a great job all year long, um, and, uh, and they did it again today. So those are some huge stops. And um, again, they you know they played lights out in the first half. I mean, I don't know how many you know I counted four or five three and outs early, uh, maybe out of the first six seven series. So um, you know. And then, you know, they did some stuff in the second half offensively. They started moving the tight end around. You know, we couldn't get a beat on where the tight end was at. You know, I don't know if that was something they made adjustments at halftime or not. Um, but they certainly were moving around and because uh, we, we had them bound up pretty pretty good early. Uh, a guy like MJ Devonshire, you touched on it, but coming in from Kentucky and probably hasn't had the impact on the season that you may have liked to have. But how big is that moment for him tonight, that walk-off interception there? You know, it's big time. I mean, yeah, I think he's sitting right in that room there. Um, you know, everybody gets their opportunities. You know, you, when you get an opportunity, then you take advantage of it, and that's great for his confidence. And he's been playing well as late, and he's been playing good all year. I mean, you got, you know, um, you know, Damari who falls down early. I mean, um, look like me out there, you know. Um, but, um, you know, you know, he, he played well. I mean, with A.J. Woods out, and I expect him to be back this week, you know, MJ took over as a third corner and got some quality reps today. So um, I'm happy for him. And, He's an Alequipa boy, so it's good to see that the Quips get it done today. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to you got to rebound. It's how you know you got to have a short memory, and um, you know, again, he had, you know could have made a couple of big plays early, um, but uh, you know, as soon as I saw him go in motion, I saw the coverage they were in. Um, we hadn't really shown that play, and that was uh, you know a slant. He was running a slant, and I was like, oh, it's going to be a touchdown here, and there it was. And then I told our you know. Uh, after our offense scored, I told the defense, I, you know, and I told Whipple, I said they will not score a touchdown. There's no way. And I was just glad we didn't have to, you know, kick a field goal there. Um, but I knew there was no way they were going to score on defense. Had a lot of faith um, in how our kids were playing. What did you see in Travoski? You guys uh, you talked about the linebackers on Monday going into the 
this game. It looked like he had several cut tackles for a lot of the numbers in front of me, but it seemed like he had a really big night in that other dimension. Yeah, he was outstanding. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's you know, taking over that mic position, and, you know, he makes a lot of plays in there, too. Uh, he makes them wherever he is, and, um, you know, I was happy with the effort he, he put out there today. What did he do to protect the quarterback in the second half? Say it again now. What did North Carolina do to protect the quarterback? You know, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to look at it. I mean, I think they, you know, did some different slide protection, you know, away from the back. They're just different stuff, you know, that you probably, you know, I could probably do an hour dissertation for you. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I thought, I, I didn't think we blitzed well in, in the second half. I thought, you know, there was times where we could have bull rushed a tailback and knocked him into the quarterback and we let him scramble out of there. So some things we got to fix. Um, so I'm not sure it's, you know, a little bit of what they did, but it's a lot of what we did too. It's not my first time around here, so I'm sorry if you answered this in recent weeks or, or days or whatever, but what are some of the things that MJ Devonshire has provided in practice and, you know, just things that we as media don't see on a game day? You know, MJ's just a steady guy. I mean, he just does his job, and he, you know, he's trying to get better. I mean, he, uh, you know, he played safety all spring, and then you know, um, we moved into corner. You know, probably at the end of uh, end of the summer, I uh, just thought that was going to be the position for him. And uh, again, he's a steady guy. He, 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 you know, and again, he's got a lot of confidence now. So, um, you know, he he played well for us today. Did you feel like up seventeen, you maybe needed to get the run game going a little bit more than you did. Yeah, and then you try to get it, and then you, you gain one yard, and, and you know the cradle was out of there, which you know I don't think that helped us a whole bunch. You know, uh, Hoy did not play today, but probably could have. We were able to save him, um, but um, you know, uh, and Ryan Jacoby got his waiver too, uh, our transfer from Ohio State, so we, we may need him as the as the season goes on. So we're excited about that. We just got that news on Friday, or I guess Friday, yes today, yesterday, yesterday was Friday, but it was a Wednesday, so. Yeah. Do you have to keep the offense focused, or how do you keep it focused after throwing that interception and so late in this game to kind of turn things around? Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't have to do anything. I mean, I don't have to keep him focused. I mean, Kenny comes back and does what he does. That's Kenny Pickett. I mean, nobody's perfect, and, um, you know, that just tells you what kind of competitor he is. Uh, he made a mistake. It was a screen, and, you know, we'll look at the tape and see what happened there. But, uh, you know, they made a play we didn't, uh, maybe trying to force the ball in there and trying to be the hero. Um, but, you know, Kenny Pickett comes right back and, and does what he does. How does a win like this say about the group you have here at home? You know, we got, we got a great football team. You know, I think we got a championship football team in that locker room. When you, locker room, when you talk about, you know, the explosive offense that we have and have had all year. And, uh, and again, our defense just keeps getting better every week, I think. So um, it says a lot about those guys in there. They work hard, and um, we got a good football team in that locker room. What can you say about the fans staying through the rain in a crazy game like that? I love that question. They, they, you know, the Panther Pit was outstanding today. They were loud. Um, you know, I told Cal when he went out for the coin toss, I said, hey, I don't know if we're going to win this coin toss or not, but we'd like to play defense. Um, if we're not, we're going to be right down that end zone with our, with our students. So um, my hat goes off to them. They were great. My hat goes off to Heather Light for getting those guys cranked up in that end zone, getting those whatever those things were. Um, she, she comes up with something new every week. So thank you, Heather. Um, you know, you got one more next weekend, so uh, get it done. You mentioned last, uh, earlier this week that they were going to throw some design runs at you, Sam Powell. How do you feel that you guys defended that? We did. We did a great job. I mean, he ran a, you know, ran a, uh, um, you know, a quarterback draw early, and we stuffed him. I mean, when you talk about your pure quarterback runs, I think we handled them better than anybody did. Uh, he got us on some scrambles, and I think it was some poor pressure. Um, just angles and letting him get out of the pocket. That's where he got it. You know, he got his yards um, at least in the second half on scrambles, um, where we didn't have good ratio as far as our pressure goes, and you're just keeping him. Um, you know, we just didn't do a good job pressuring. There's sometimes you know our guys should have had sacks, I think, and we'll look at the tape and see. But uh, we bottled up him pretty good, I think. Um, and again, it wasn't designed quarterbacks. And Phil Campbell had one hell of a, excuse my language, uh, a hit on fourth down and one. Him and Deslin, I think Deslin had his uh, feet and. And um, you know, um, Phil Campbell came in. It was a, it was a, that was a big time play down about our 30 yard line going in. Okay, guys, thanks. Enjoy. We got nine days till the next one, so we're gonna get rested up.